Welcome to Novikov Industries and congratulations on becoming the first human test subjects to experience time travel. <laughs> Listen to me saying human test subjects implying we've done tests with other species. <clears throat> Which of course we have. My name's Reginald and that's Jerry on the left. Oh for goodness sake, someone tell Jerry his screen isn't on again. Jerry's actually the one who'll be thrusting you through time and space today, so isn't that comforting? By the way, nobody asked him to wear that outfit. That's from his own wardrobe. Anyway, hold on tight. Ignore all the worrying zaps and bangs. It's supposed to happen, I promise. Aha, it worked. I mean, yes, of course it worked. We planned this. Welcome to prehistoric times. Let's just hope dinosaurs aren't real for your sakes. Oh, no, they're definitely real. Jerry, quick, boop us somewhere new. Jerry, this is an active runway. Anywhere else would be great. You know, Jerry, when I said anywhere else, so from what I can tell, we've either gone very far back or, um, <clears throat> very far forwards. Or maybe not so far forwards the way that we're heading. Hmm. That got bleak. I know. Let's do a spin. That'll make everyone feel better. There we go. Everyone's having a great time. Okay, next. Okay, back in modern day. Excellent, but slightly boring, Jerry. Ah, now we're talking the Wild West. Um, <clears throat> Jerry, they're, they're, sh they're shooting real guns. Jerry, quick, into the saloon. Uh, 1600s, maybe? I feel like something important happened in the 1600s. In London. What was it? A fire? A fire. Oh, yeah. The Great... The Great Fire of London! Time to go. And now World War II, Jerry. A war. We are literally in the trenches. Somewhere a little less depressing, please. There must be some positive moments in history. Ah, the moon landing. Let's get a closer look. Problem, baby. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Oh, Jenny, look out! Ah, uh, nothing to see here. Quick, Jerry, boop us back home. Jiminy Christmas, what happened, Jerry? Are you telling me that running over that man in the past had dire consequences? Oh, very well, take us back to Brooklyn. Jerry, I know the Titanic is your favourite film, but we've got slightly more pressing issues. No, Jerry, this is the Wild West again, and who put that wagon there? It's okay, it's not causing any damage, apart from maybe that water tower. Oh, look! See? It's self-rectifying. All is well. Okay, Jenny, take us to Brooklyn, please. What in the... what is this? What happened to Brooklyn? Are you telling me that one slightly dented water tower caused this? I don't even know what I'm looking at, Jerry. It's making me extremely uncomfortable. Take us back to the Wild West so we can maybe not hit that silly little wagon. Okay, take two, or whatever take this is. There's the wagon. Those cowboys are terrible shots. Let's just get through this without causing any damage. Perfect. Okay, back to Brooklyn, please, Jerry. Finally, here we are and all seems well. Can we just take a second, please, Jerry? 
All we have to do is not run over that lovely policeman officer person whose life somehow decides the fate of the entire human race. Okay, nice and slowly, please. That's it. Easy does it. Wonderful. Okay, now take us home, please, Jerry. Thank goodness, here we are and nothing is on fire. All seems... What is this, Jerry? I know you love the holidays, but we didn't depart at Christmas time, so we mustn't return at Christmas time. Okay, chop chop now. please, Jerry. That was extremely disappointing. Oh well, thank you for taking part today and we will be in touch.